won't be in my mother's son. That, that was the level of our intimacy, and that's what I want to dwell on today. So Jacob fought with the angel. He now eats with the angels in the presence of the Lord. That's why I've chosen not to weep. And by the way, I shed no tears from the time I was told Jacob had died. I came to Uganda, even when I was so angry, even when I became so belligerent, no tears came. But the day Jacob's body arrived, when the Bola dancers were now bringing him, because his father here, Mzee Ukora Pora Pora, said, Chigamoy, Dwa Umeru Kide Ume Bola, Bepato. The moment the Bola's now started bringing his body, I sobbed. On, 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 on that airport tarmac, I saw it. That's the first time I shipped the answer Jacob. I knew Jacob in the early 90s when they were students with mom. I think they had run into some problem, into some disfavor with the university. And they were due for disciplinary action. So they came to my law firm. They qualified when I had already practiced law for 10 years, these young boys. So they came to me, I looked at the documents, I said, bring the, those rules, they brought the rules. There is a saying, Your Excellency, Vice President, see, a good lawyer is not the one who knows all the laws. You can never know all the laws. A good lawyer is the one who knows where to find the law or where to find the law that can help the case before him. So when I looked at the rules, I looked at everything, the laws pertaining to parliament, I just found a little lapse that these rules have not been laid before parliament. So I told him, Honda Mao is here. I said, you go back and say, you're acting on a rule which is not law for these reasons. Makerere University swallowed its pride. Both Mao and Jacob continued and finished their law. And as somebody started and it is not tradition, the rest is history. But then I knew Jacob and I knew much better from Juba where we served as technical legal personnel in the Juba Peace Talks. When I went and I had been invited by COIN, and, and my case was very interesting. When I was state minister here, COIN had sent a fatwa, those of you who know what I'm saying, that I should be killed and stubborn. I think I was being reckless. I said, well, I do not die twice. If it is what God has written, I will die. I continued. He did not kill me, but he summoned me to go to the Garamba where he was in the DRC. So when I sat with Coin, Coin in the middle, Vincent Uti on the right, uh, Okoto Diambo on the left, six hours, probably seven. It should have been with Jacob Olanya, but he did not make it. So we met later. Those things we are writing down, you will read. But in Juba, we were together. That's when I discovered he had love for Bola, Jack Makala Dada. And to our poor, poor, no 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 poor, your Excellency, Jacob was very good because of the frame. He had a massive frame, you know this. I think his chest was one and a half times broader than mine. So if he just shakes it a little, those of you who do not know what you think the man has really danced. And many times I became envious because they were congratulating him more than me, the teacher. And yet when it came to footwork, he, he didn't know. So, 
There are some of the songs I will sing when I'm speaking to my people in the world. When it came to that, and he knew I would, he would betray his ignorance of the dance. He would say, Jambi Chicks, Chirikora La Kempo. He would say, I should go and play the drums, knowing when they dance alone, nobody would notice. That is the level of our intimacy. I'll just tell you highlights. In 2011, when his victory here was being contested, we had come, at, I think 2011, yes, we had come to Kolo here for the poor yellow case. Nothing to do with this case. The principal judge then was Dr. Yorokamu Gwamuin, he's now retired. So Jacob came just to greet us. So he told the principal judge, he was just making fun of me. He said, my Lord Principal Judge, I want to thank you at a personal level for something. Say, what is it? I thank you for not giving me, pointing at me. I thank you for not giving me this man to preside over my case. Then this, the judge said, but I thought you're your friend. He said, no, I'll be the first person to object against his handling my case. Because he would do everything to make me fail to prove to the world that despite our friendship, for him is blind to our friendship. So please, I'm happy you gave me another judge. We all laughed. Then in 2001, this tip, just like this to DFCU man, to get some money to get the one I lost. I think it is giving him some of my money that made me lose. But, but he won and I lost. So he hides behind those shelves, which are on, on, in the middle of, and then sent this girl. This girl was young, in a school, primary school uniform. Could have been Nasser even. So somebody comes and begins touching me. I look at this girl, I don't know. So I start asking, who are you? Give me the name, and I didn't know. Then it, he appears from where he was hiding that I had sent this girl to abduct you. <laughs> then the one which you will laugh at, the position of Chief Justice felt vacant in 2020. And, and I believe I was a front runner. So now the good people who thought they loved him more than I love him went to him that there is a problem. We want you for speaker in the next parliament, but there is a problem. If Justice Owington becomes Chief Justice, then you're becoming speaker, you'll go through a bottleneck. So I think we need to do everything to ensure he does not become Chief Justice. The moment they would leave, he would call me, he thinks, you laugh at this one, and then he tells me. Then I told him, Maybe you're not privy to this information. Coming from one side has never been a factor in determining who the speaker or who the chief justice is. I told him, you ask them. When Chief Justice Wambusi was Chief Justice of Uganda, who was Vice President of Uganda? And then the more immediate one. When Justice Bart Katrebe was Chief Justice, the one we seek to replace now, who was the president of Uganda? Why is it now an issue when there is the potential of you and I occupying this two As fate would have it, I became Chief Justice, and he's becoming speaker. There was no bottleneck at all. Knowing that I would preside over this election, I did not talk to him. But before that, when I was made Chief Justice, I told him, now when you were Deputy Speaker and I was Deputy Chief Justice, you were higher in rank than me, and I would have to invite you to come and speak to people. Now I'm going to become Chief Justice, and you have to invite me to pay back. Indeed, I became Chief Justice, but we never had the opportunity for him to meet together and, uh, in a function like this, for him to invite me. The day he was elected speaker, 
I want you people to know the first thing Jacob Bonavia did, he took his seat. I was seated next to him. He leaned over to me and reminded me that now you will have to be inviting me to speak to people. But, but faith can really be cruel. It's one thing I would have loved to do for my younger brother. But faith is really cruel. Now I will be inviting my sister to come and speak to people. That's now what I'll be doing, not Jacob. But that's the way of the world. 